Hi, this is Jeff Gentry, BPA, Bloodstain Pattern Analyst. I am here now going to demonstrate um, the use of hemostics for presumptive bloodstain testing. So hemostics, it's a test strip reagent. It's usually used for urinalysis. Some uh, agencies, like the one I work for, likes to use hemostics for presumptive blood testing. What that is, is say you see a blood stain at a scene, you're pretty sure it's blood, you're going to do a presumptive test. So based on this presumptive test, then you can use get a preliminary result and say that you believe that this is a blood stain, not only based on investigator experience, but also based on presumptive blood testing. So there is a chance of false positives with these. So Remember, this is just a presumptive. It's just a something that you're going to use at a scene to increase your confidence that something is blood. If you're really going to be um, testing something for a criminal case or you're going to be collecting something for evidence, you're going to need to further go to uh, a chemical testing method um, like the castle meyer chemical test. Uh, but again, that's a presumptive blood test. Or you might need to use something uh, if you can't see blood, like a uh, luminol or a blue star. Um, but this, again, is a presumptive test. And then eventually you're going to need to test uh, for DNA. So the things that I have out here, um, I've got the hemostics, which I'm going to demonstrate how those are used. Um, I've got cotton swabs. Um, what this is, this is called hemodent. It's another method. It's a presumptive method. It uses chemicals, it's the McPhail's re reagent. So there's chemicals in here that when you put the swab of blood inside the tube, you break them, uh, they mix together, and then there's some hydro hydrogen peroxide in there to catalyze the reaction, and that's another presumptive uh, blood test. So I'll show you in the future how to use those. Uh, but we've got the hemostics, we've got my little uh, daughter's LOL band-aids. So after I poke myself to get a blood sample, um, um, I'm gonna have to put a band-aid on so I'm not bleeding all over the place. I've got my synthetic blood, which I like to use for experiments, but I'm gonna show you. Um, I haven't tested this yet, so I don't know if it's gonna react with the, the hemostics or not. We'll see. Um, cotton swabs, and then I've also got some Lysol, and this one has hydrogen chloride. So we're gonna see if this gives us a, um, a false positive. So first, um, I've got my, my four cotton swabs here and then my distilled water. That's what we would use to uh, collect any, any dry blood stains. I'll show you, I'll show you that on some uh, dry blood stain surfaces at another time. So we're gonna do all this testing on, on wet stains. So we're gonna place all of our samples on these four different uh, cotton swabs. So first one we're gonna do is real human blood from myself. Then we're gonna use the synthetic blood. Then we're gonna do just distilled water as a simple control. And then we're gonna use the Lysol on the final one. So I don't think I'll need my, my cotton swabs for this and I'm not gonna need my uh, McPhail's reagent. Um, so first, I'm not a real big fan of needles or my own blood, so kind of taking one for the team here uh, doing this. I kind of poked myself a little bit earlier uh, just to get it started. Um, okay, so now I've got real human blood that we know for sure is human blood as a control. Okay, we, we've talked about it before. Um, what this was, if, if I were to see this blood stain, this is a saturation stain because the blood is going into the surface, it's saturating into that material, the cotton swab. These swabs are designed to saturate and collect blood, okay? So we got plenty of blood on that surface, okay? So the next surface, or we can go ahead and test, test each one as we go, okay, so... So we've got our hemostics. Uh, based off on of the level of reaction, you should get a, a greener um, control. So let's see, I'm just gonna apply it directly 
And now, of course, if I were doing this at a scene, I'd be wearing, wearing gloves. So right away, you get an immediate reaction. Okay, so it's very, very dark green. That is not diluted blood. It is straight human blood. Okay, so we got a positive green result off of that. All right, so that's our, that's our real human blood. So that's a control. We know that human blood is going to test positive. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and use our synthetic blood. And I've never taste, tested these before at the hemostics, so this will be kind of fun to see. Okay. It looks very similar to human blood. It's a little less viscous, it's not quite as thick, but looks almost identical. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna apply it to the hemostick. No reaction. Okay, so that is a good control. Okay, so there's no reaction. We know that this is not real blood. So the synthetic blood that I like to use for experiments, it's not real human blood. It is not gonna test positive or presumptive positive for blood. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go with some DI water. Okay, now if this were, say, an area of a dry blood stain at a scene, all you have to do is just apply some DI water to your uh, cotton swab. So here we're going to make sure we get we get plenty of water on that swab, so we'll get a reaction with the stick. So now with the with the hemo stick, I'm going to use the finger that is is not bloody. Just going to swab it on there. And again, we get no reaction. So all of this is looking really good for our hemostics. It is showing that you're going to get a reaction to blood, a presumptive reaction to blood and not other substances. Okay. So this is our distilled or DI water. All right. And the last one that should be pretty fun is Lysol. So if you have blood out and about, Somebody might use some Lysol to, to clean it up. Okay? And say you want to do a test to see if that is blood on a surface or just cleaning supplies. Oops, that is way too much, but we good for a test, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some on my swab. Kind of made a mess here. That's okay. So now we're gonna test it. And so again, no reaction. So even the Lysol compound or Lysol chemical is not gonna test presumptive positive for blood. So this is a demonstration of hemostics and how it can be used for presumptive blood testing at a scene. I'm gonna show you in just a minute on some of the dry blood surfaces. Um, how it can be used to detect blood on a dry surface or a dried blood stain. And I'll have to uh, now go ahead and apply my daughter's Band-Aid. Hopefully she's not upset that I use them. All right, so now I'm back in the game ready for some more uh, blood testing and blood examination um, at Jeff Gentry, BPA.